Good evening YouTube, Brew by me, I'm back again, doing another review tonight, yes I am, using my Innocent Gun Glass, it kind of looks like a stout glass, so that's why I'm using it. This is another beer from New Zealand, uh, the same company, Renaissance, this is the Craftsman Chocolate Oatmeal Stout, oh yeah, chocolate oatmeal stout, intense, smooth and mellow, all brewed with cocoa. Marlboro, New Zealand. This is the Craftsman series. Um, trophy winner in the Australian International Beer Awards in 2011. It's 4.9 percent ABV and they are located in Blenheim, New Zealand. So again there's some reading on the back. Go get yourself one. They are in the LCBO right now. So go get your one, yourself one if you want to try it. Or you can wait for my review and then go try it. Renaissance. Six fires in July 2013. So, brewed by me, BB Bafla. Same cap as last time, so let's open her up. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Somebody's in heaven. Smells good. I love steps. That is black as black can be. The head is super brown, about a finger ahead, small to medium bubbles. You cannot see through it. There is a slight bit of redness down here. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. Let's give her a smell. Oh. Mmm. Mostly off the nose is you're getting a big upfront cocoa chocolate smell off the bottle. In the glass you get the chocolate, you get vanilla, you get a little bit of molasses. Kind of an earthy woody type hop. It smells phenomenal, guys, girls. It smells awesome. I'm diving in. Let's dive in. Stouts are one of my favorites, so. Oh, wow. That's good. Take a swig of it, hit your tongue, that nice sweet malt profile, as it crosses your tongue you pick up the cocoa, the vanilla, the, the kind of a little bit of molasses, as it hits the back it's kind of an earthy woody type of bitterness, finishes nice and dry um, throughout the whole sip, it's nice and smooth and creamy. Sounds like someone's in heaven. Light to medium bodied. Um, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, the bitterness is kind of also like a bitter baker bitters chocolate as well. It's light in the mouth. Kind of like I said, it's. It's, it's, when I talk about stouts, stouts to me should be kind of uh, medium to full bodied. This is a little on the, the lighter side, but it's still really good. It's very easy drinking. It's a very easy drinking stout. There's nice flavors the whole time you're drinking it. And yeah, you get the chocolate every time, and it's just it's it's a good beer. Um, Renaissance chocolate oatmeal stout. Go give it a whirl if you can find it. Like I said, it's in the LCBOs right now. Very very tasty stout. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I was making I made a chocolate oatmeal stout, and. Um, unfortunately, it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. It's still drinkable. The only thing is, is it's a little too warming. 
it's more like a very high ABV Imperial Stout and I didn't really want that. I wanted it a little bit lower but how oh well. You learn by your mistakes and uh, carry on. Try it again. A malt profile, a two row um, chocolate malt, black malt, roasted barley, hot profile, maybe Mount Hood, Willamette, or maybe even, maybe not even, maybe like New Zealand hops. Like they have maybe um, some hops in New Zealand that are have that characteristics of the earthy, woody kind of thing, you know, because I know like there's certain hops that um, I recently purchased from uh, my supplier that is from New Zealand um, and I haven't really tried them yet so I don't know what they taste like the only one I know that I the only one that I've tasted is the Nelson Sauve which is a phenomenal hop if you can find it get it because it is awesome anyways Renaissance New Zealand you did a good good job with this stout it is a very tasty stout very easy drinking and I can drink these all day I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.